we know that this world is getting smaller and we're becoming more of a global economy. Exporting. Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton says that's the key to growing Arizona's economy. We have great products and services to offer the world and the vast majority of the marketplace is outside of our borders. So we have to think and act in a more concerted way towards exporting. The better we do, the better off our economy is going to be. Arizona exports are valued at $22 billion and rising. Those exports support more than 100,000 jobs. These homegrown products and services range from aerospace and defense to elite athlete training and peanut butter. I got the idea to start this company while I was living in Montevideo, Uruguay, and really from the very beginning, I wanted to create a product that catered to the palate of folks in the international community. When we look at our core products and where those products are located um, around the world, uh, over half of the market is outside the United States. I've been somewhat patriotic. I think it's important to, to bring foreign money into our country instead of always pushing it out. You know, I think, I think it's critical that we can use international dollars to, to create jobs here. Businesses that export are more resilient, more likely to grow, and increase revenue. Gregory White of Raytheon Missile Systems says exports are critical. They're very important because they provide additional jobs, challenges, and opportunity and economic vitality to the Arizona and to the Tucson area. Lee Benson, CEO of Able Aerospace Services, says exporting has doubled projected job growth. Yeah, exporting has been important to us. Um, it's allowed us to grow a lot faster, and it actually makes the, uh, the company somewhat recession-proof, if that's possible. Regions that have the most success with exporting are regions that have higher wage economies and can withstand the ups and downs of the global marketplace. Jane Spicer exports signature golf club head covers to 75 countries around the world because all of our individual economies will ebb and flow. That's always going to happen. But if you've got business all over the world, if you're exporting all over the world, whoever's at the lowest spot you can be selling to, but also you can counteract that loss from selling to the people that are at the highest spot. The Sun Corridor is united in efforts to increase exporting and strengthen the region's economy. That's why the Sun Corridor Export Recognition Program is honoring 17 businesses in Maricopa, Pima and Pinal counties for their exporting achievements. An independent panel evaluated the companies for their export success and placed them in three categories, emerging, proficient, and expert. Exporting plays a critical role in Mesa's economy and in the economy of the rest of the Sun Corridor. We're here today. Mesa Mayor John Giles honored Able Aerospace Services as a top scorer in Maricopa County, saying Able is clearly an export expert. They've grown their exporting from $100,000 in 1994 to more than $32 million today. Located in Mesa, they are present in more than 60 countries worldwide. Their dedication to customer service, quality products, and reducing costs has propelled them to the top of their game. Top scoring in Pima County, Raytheon Missile Systems. We would like to present Sun Quarter Edge Award to Raytheon Missile Systems as an expert exporter and the top scoring business in Pima County. Abbott of Casa Grande was recognized as a top scoring exporter in Pinal County, sending nearly half of its products overseas. That's key to our success and key to our continued growth in the community and we really do uh, appreciate Abbott being here. And when you make products that impact the lives of consumers all around the world, you can't help but feel how important your role is in making sure that everything you do every day is perfect. Daphne's head covers in Phoenix was named the top scoring woman-owned exporter in the entire Sun Corridor. And Daphne's head covers is a great example of how a majority of American companies that export products are actually small and medium-sized uh, companies. Businesses that export are more resilient than businesses that don't. Congratulations on behalf of the entire MAG region. We're very proud of you and your success is important to us. Resources are expanding for small businesses that are just getting started in exporting, like Jeffrey Malcoon's P3 
peanut butter Americano. My advice to entrepreneurs who are considering exporting is to reach out to the city of Phoenix, reach out to the Arizona Commerce Authority, to the AZ STEP program, Export Tech, these amazing resources we have here in the state of Arizona that are there really to help bridge the gap of institutional knowledge to help us reach the global economy. Jane Spicer says exporting isn't as scary as you might think. And we started in the beginning by just saying, yes, I can. Anybody would say, could you export to me? And I'd say, yes, I can. And then I'd figure it out later. It's important to encourage businesses of all sizes to export. So the future 500, Fortune 500 companies are those small businesses that are there today. And the vast majority of the job creation is being done in the small business marketplace. And those businesses have a huge role in the international uh, economy. John Godina agrees. Godina runs Altus, an elite track and field training center that attracts athletes from all over the world. The top levels of track, it's such an international sport. This, at this time we have athletes from 32 nations that have come here. We have federation contracts with six or seven different countries as well. All 17 businesses being recognized today know the vast majority of customers live beyond our borders. And so if you want to get into it and you want to make your organization more recession proof, you want to bring more jobs to Arizona or wherever you actually live, um, exporting is an absolute must. Another thing they all share, the creativity and drive to achieve export success. Look, the two things we have to do as a region to be successful in economic development, innovation, and building an export-based uh, economy. Innovation because the world is changing and if you're not at the forefront of it, you're gonna be left uh, behind. Thanks to all of our partners who made the Sun Corridor Export Recognition Program possible. For more information on exporting, check out these resources.